Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. It is Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024. The time is 6.12 a.m. here in Sun is Just Rising, Salem, Oregon. Getting later and later every morning. Um, so, as always, I have my caffeinated breakfast blend coffee beside me with French Vanilla Creamer. And we got to get that wax melt going. So let me just cover this up real quick. And we'll pick out our next melt compliment of my diamond daughter, Rebecca. And we turn on the wax lamp. There we go. Got that going. And how about this one? Whoops, as I drop it the table and my table has a hole in it. I don't know which it is. Okay, let's see what we got here. And this is glazed maple bear claw. Oh my gosh. Oh, what does this smell like? I'm excited to smell this one. Mm, I love bear claws. Look at there. Uh, all right, now, I wonder, I might be able to do that whole thing in there. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay. So, I am continuing my journey on the palace. And I'm, I'm excited and I'm not excited. I don't know. I have mixed emotions today. And this is from Dreamer Designs. It's a square drills, 60 by 80 centimeters by 23.6 inches by 31.5 inches. And 67 colors, which includes 7ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, which are drills that have a, um, a, um, <laughs> a special effect coated on them, and they're great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. All right. <coughs> so, let me get my book out here, because you know I cannot remember anything. Okay, Connie and Laura have finished their journey on the palace. Beth, Angela, Anita, and myself are continuing our journey on the palace. <sighs> now, <laughs> that's all that I have left. So, in my fantasy world of this canvas, I tarried a little bit too long at Horse Guards. <laughs> and so I'm a little behind uh, because, you know, I had to go see my favorite trooper horse, Ormond, um, which is very famous, by the way. A very famous horse over there. <laughs> Ormond does not like tourists, and so he nips at them, and it is hilarious. I mean, it's probably not hilarious for people, but yeah, it's fun to watch. All right, is this going to fit? I'm going to have to get out my bigger one, or you know what? All right, so this is going to be the last thing that I do. So I'm going to start down here in the trees. So I'll put my mat on here, which is going to go right there, I think. Uh-oh. You know what? I forgot to take the, the last um, cover off. 
I guess that would help. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, I am. Um, this journey on the canvas has just been wonderful. And you guys have played a major role in my travels in it. And I so appreciate that. You that did the journey, whether it was this canvas or another one um, that was similar, or just laying down drills on your journey. There we go. Um, yeah, so if things go according to plan, I will finish this tomorrow, Wednesday. And after a long journey, which, by the way, I will be traveling back because, yeah, got some more stuff in my stash. <laughs> But after a long journey, it's time to go and be with my friends in the village. Um, we're all, well, some of us are building um, cottages. And let me get over there. So it is our cottage community village. So I will be starting my second cottage because you know what we all need at least two cottages for me it's going to be uh more cottages <laughs> so i need one for you know i can switch around um cottages and visit with um my village friends over there and uh, <laughs> okay my imagination is going cuckoo all right so there we go. Oh, I'm so excited. But yet, I hate to see this end. Do you guys ever be like that on a on a canvas? Yeah. So, but we'll see. I'll either it'll either be um See, today's Tuesday. I really think I will finish this Thursday um and then uh yeah. Thursday at the latest, but I want to get to Big Bend because I need to visit Big Bend because I haven't been there yet. All right, so before we get started, let's see what you guys are doing. Let's have a little gab session because we do need to gab before we start diamond painting, right? All right. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, Patricia. Good morning, Granny. Pat here. I just received my kit with the VW bus and Granny. So please put me on that list. You and Ellie have a blessed day. Oh, okay. So let's get a book out. And as always, I better... Get a mat out so I don't. Yeah, let's one mat. Need a bigger one. Oh boy, okay. Don't want to lay anything down on the exposed area. Alright, so let's get our book out. And our purple pen. Canvas which is the love bug from Patricia. All right, got you on the list. <laughs> All right, um, All right, this is a follow up from Pam. Um, I wanted to let you know that they have this same canvas on diamonddots.com. 
it is a little less than Amazon. If you sign up to receive texts from them, you can get a 15% off your first purchase. You can become a member and get special prices and exclusive offers. There are several options to save money. Take care. Now that, um, she bought London Scene, which is full drill, square dots, um, or square drills, they call them dots. Um, yeah, and it was a little bit expensive, I think 43 bucks. Um, so I was on the fence on that. So I will check out the Diamond Dots page. All right. Candace, I found something. I stumbled upon a site on YouTube. It's called London City Walks. It shows the horse guards, king's guards. I hope it's something you can enjoy. There are a lot of videos on it. All right, now, let me tell you. Let me go to... There are actually two YouTube channels. I watch London City Walks. That's the one I talk about all the time. And that's with um, John. And he is with the Kingsguard Household Cal Calvary, HCAV. Um, and, um, yeah. So, that is the one that I do watch. Now, with that said, and let me just look this up. There is a London City Walk, which I believe does tour yeah he does tours of things going on in London but it's somebody different and I don't believe hold on let me just look real quick Why take less when you can get a beefy five actually let me put you on hold for a minute because I have commercials on here Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, it's a different person. And I don't think he has commentary. I was just glancing through a couple of his. Um, it doesn't have the commentary, which I like with London City Walks. With an S on the end. So, yes. But thanks, Candace. Alright, um, and here comes the sun. Hold on. The sun goes right through my glass doors and right into my eyeballs. Okay, um, okay, this is from Laura. Weekend Retreat Completion. Um, here is my completion for the weekend retreat. It is a gift for my sister because she collects old sewing machines and she loves gnomes. Gnomes is what I call them. This came with a stand that my sister doesn't like to put things in her house that collect dust. I thought I would put a few magnets on the back and she can put it on a cabinet she has in her quilting studio. I also started on the sunflower from Diamond Art Club Studio, which is about two thirds done. I'll send a picture next weekend when it should be done. Love your videos and diamond painting with you. Have a great week, my friend. Turn off the light. Oh my gosh. That is adorbs. And we've got those special shapes and drills. That is so cute.
Oh, I like that. And she sent a second picture. Look at those eyes. That is adorable. Okay, this is from Anita uh, Palace. Hi, Granny. Now I have started the palace. In the weekend, I was at a card making retreat with some friends. Have a nice day. Love from Anita in Denmark. Oh, so she is just starting her adventure. Oh, I can hardly wait to get all your pictures, Anita, and what you think of your journey. It's always nice to um, watch somebody else's journey on the same canvas, and you know, because they may see things that I completely missed. You know, sometimes you just kind of get wrapped up in the drills and all that. And, you know, you kind of miss some stuff. <laughs> all right. So, I'm going to put that right there. And we'll get to comments here in a minute. But let's lay down some drills. away for right now. I don't need it cluttering up the thing. Yeah, as soon as I complete this, I am going to be doing the unboxing. I keep saying that, but I need more room. I mean, you no, you don't want to see my desk, but it is a mess. So, here's Wax Ellie. Sitting on her little paw prints. Put her right here. Because she always sits right beside me and watches what I'm doing. So, let's see what we got on this part. I have not even looked at this yet. I generally do not look way ahead in my canvases. I like to be surprised. So, I think we'll do this sky up here. And we'll start with 34. There's a lot of that. And we are off and running. So today... It's supposed to be like 87 degrees and I've got the battery charging while well, it is charged uh, for the lawnmower and I'm gonna go out and mow the weeds <laughs> oh, and I've got to do my yard and David's yard and then on the other side of the driveway so I will be out there for a while Probably about an hour and a half, which I'd rather be diamond painting. Oh, I got to tell you, so um, I got to take some coffee. So all this talk on the hamburger gravy. <laughs> And you guys have mentioned things that you do with hamburger gravy or, you know, whatever. Um, so yesterday, <laughs> I um, made some hamburger gravy. And then I, and I didn't add anything, you know, I just did the, you know, fried up my hamburger. And then I added my gravy to it. 
and then I boiled some rice while it was going. So when the gravy was, you know, all done, I stirred in some rice. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then, that's not all. Then I had some steamable broccoli. So I did steam it. Um, most of the way, but then I added it to my hamburger gravy and rice. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I let it, you know, kind of simmer for a little bit. Ah, and then, and then I added a little bit of soy sauce. And that was it. And I will tell you, it was delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness. And even better is I have enough left over for today. So all I have to do is just pop that in the microwave and ta-da, dinner. I'll be worn out after I get all the lawn mowing done. I'm doing that at 8 o'clock. I got to get out there at 8 o'clock. Or, you know, right in that time frame. Um, because it's going to be cool outside. I don't want to be sweating because like about, I don't know what it is, but like about 9 o'clock, 9.30, it heats up and then it might cool down for a little bit I don't know the sun goes behind a shade or a shade behind a cloud I don't know but yeah I'm gonna get that done then I'm coming back in and laying down some more drills I will tell you a little trick that I've been doing. So you can see this is a huge, huge area. And um, so what I've been doing I don't know how to explain this, but I mean like this area is all blues and I just have a few down here it looks like I'm gonna get those right now um, but anyway to do the bigger area I've been using my mats and just covering up and doing sections moving my mat doing sections moving my mat doing a section but I'm doing all one color And then moving the mat, and then you know, doing that color, you know. I don't know, it seems to work for me. So, anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Whew. Yeah, so I'm going to pretend right now I'm still at Horse Guards. <laughs> and I know... Ormond is not at Horse Guards right now. So I'm not visiting him, but I am watching the visitors, the tourists, that are not reading the new sign that says, do not touch the horse, and seeing how many of them touch the horse, and if the guard tells them, don't touch my horse. <laughs> It used to, the sign used to say, don't touch the reins. But for some reason they changed it. And I think it's because God, sometimes those tourists just maul those horses. Yeah. And then the horses don't like 
a bunch of that, especially during the summer when there's just thousands of tourists there. Yeah, they are making some changes, slow but sure, they're at horse guards. Because it is a big tourist attraction and it's free. Now, I agree with John that they should charge. And maybe to get into the yard and parade ground and all that. Because um, I think that would help with crowd control. And they would be making money for the horse guards. And the other thing is that all these... TikTokers that are making these awful videos, charge them. If you want to um, do that, you you have to have like a permit that you pay for. I don't know how they would do that because you have all the tourists, but um, or how they would police that. I just don't know, but anyway. Oh, let's read some of your comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to get. Come on, computer. Guess I won't be making. Uh, let's get out of there. And I want to welcome in all my new friends. Wow, you guys, nice. I like having new friends. Okay. Um, some of you I will reply. I'm not going to read it on here. Um, <laughs> oh, Margie, that is hilarious. Okay. Uh, Margie says, nice time hanging out, whipping, chatting, and gabbing. The landscaper gardener is here Monday to Thursday this week at my cottage. <laughs> okay, so for anybody that's new, we are using our imagination on our canvases. So we have the cottage that's our next canvas that we're going to be doing uh, to build our village of friends and it's going to be a community and um yeah and we're using our imagination on our cottages <laughs> so um some of my friends have uh, started the construction my cottage, um, as soon as I fly back from visiting horse guards here, uh, <laughs> yeah, my cottage is going to be under construction. So, uh, yeah, Margie has her landscapers there. So I'm going to assume that she's in the garden area of her canvas. That is so funny. I love you, your guys' sense of humor and playing along with me. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me smile and laugh. <laughs> I am really, really enjoying diamond painting with all of you. You know, and even if you're not doing a cottage, you're doing something else. Hey, use your imagination. And tell me what your imagination is telling you about the canvas. And we all see canvases differently. So, yeah. Okay. Um, 
diamonds and things says, because you talk about your wax melts, I dug mine out. <laughs> yep, I love my wax melts. And I do have, I used to use the tea candle underneath the wax and it, you put the wax on top of the thing and it um, melts the wax. Well, Ross over at Smells Like Yarn, he also likes candles and stuff. And he um, was talking about getting uh, candle lamps. And so I had to have it. So I got one on Amazon and I got a cheapo because I didn't know 100%, you know, if I was going to like it, if it would work. And, you know, yeah, mine was like 10 bucks. And I love it. So now I don't use tea candles. I just use the lamp. And uh, I just, oh my gosh. There's just nothing better than all these different scents. And, and then Rebecca sent me all these candle waxes. I am so enjoying all these different fragrances. Oh. Yeah, it is. I look forward to it every day. Just love it. Okay. Um. <laughs> January made a comment that, or uh, sent me an email that she forgot to she thought that Hope Runs Deep was her first Chuck Pinson. And she forgot that she had done an, another one, which was the Red Covered Bridge. And uh, so she did an email with a public apology to Chuck Pinson. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So I wrote back to her and I said, I'm sure that Mr. Penson watches my YouTube channel and um, accepts your apology. <laughs> so she wrote back and said, oh my gosh, I am so glad to know that Mr. Penson got my apology. I was so worried, LOL. You cracked me up, Granny Doodle Bugaloo. Keeping my comments short until I'm sure they will not be deleted. I think it was my turn for YouTube glitches. Hugs, my friend. Uh, yeah, she was having trouble leaving comments. Not just on this channel, but others. Um, so hopefully she's on the road to recovery on that. I think we were all having issues last week. Um... So I don't know what was going on, but it's all good. I've got, I know for me, it was, uh, it was hard last week, um, but I just had to reset myself and you know what? This channel is not, it's about being with friends. Let's just say that. And I have my blessings here. Yeah, sometimes you need to step back and count your blessings and not get discouraged. Um, and, and if you remember right, at the beginning of the year, I said this is the year of changes for me. And I... I keep making changes all the time. And, but you know what? You got to do more of what makes you happy. And you guys make me happy. You make me laugh. That's what it's all about. So yeah, I did a reset. And uh, <laughs> it's like, you know what? It just, in the, 
big scheme of things, it just doesn't matter. This channel does not make money. Uh, <laughs> not what I'm here for. I'm just here for entertainment purposes and meeting new friends, trying to entertain you guys, make you smile. Whether it's spilling my drills on camera, you get to see it all, or my canvas falling on the floor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely not a professional channel. Stop by for a while and smile. <laughs> okay, let's see. Aw, Patricia says, uh, LOL, that's why you can do whatever you want and we'll follow because we are having fun. Blessings, Pat. Yep, you are Correct. So yesterday I got sucked into a TV show. Now, it's on PBS and it's called Broadchurch. Now, here's the deal. I think I watched that years ago and it has David Tennant and we all love him don't we he is very talented and yeah I really like him in different shows and then it also has um, Finch from Harry Potter. Is that his name? Does that sound right? Yeah, he's in it. So it's, you know, it's... It's nice to see these British actors that you see from other shows and, you know, what other things they do. And from what I have found and read... The British actors are not, they're in a different class than American actors. They seem to be more down to earth and, I don't know, I just really, really enjoy the British actors. But anyway, there's three seasons. <laughs> I'm on season two. I sat there all afternoon and binge watched this program. And when it was on the next to last episode of season one, um, I kind of sort of remembered some parts that I had watched before. And I kind of sort of remembered who did it but I couldn't remember all the details and but anyway I went in because I wanted to see I couldn't remember if season two continued on with the same people or what was going on well, when I did, it opened up the first episode of season two, and it told me who the killer was. So, you know what, it, you know, I shouldn't have done that. Although, you know, I was right there anyway of finding out, but. And it's like, oh yeah, I remember that now. And I remember some of the details now. But anyway, I'm on season two. Ah, oh, yeah. 
that's called Broad Church. I really like it. It's probably on other streaming services too. Yeah, I've got these 99 cent specials. I only have a month left um, to watch everything that I want to see. Um, so I'm watching a lot of TV. <laughs> and then I have to decide, you know, okay, do I renew at the regular price? Which PBS um, doesn't have a lot on there. And I, I'm hoping to get through everything I want to see. But um, but it's only six bucks a month. So I could revisit that. when my special is up. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to be watching that today. Hey, Ellie! Did you come over to give your secret message of the day? Huh? Yeah? I need to put my mat down right here. Because I need to lay my tray down. There we go. What you got there? You got your Minnie Mouse? Yep, you got Minnie. Uh, cords in the way. There we go. So this morning, um, Ellie was hungry. She's getting, I don't know, her e eating schedule is all over the place late, lately. But she's in her breakfast and dinner mode now. But she won't eat her food unless I put toppers on it. So um, she gets a pill for her arthritis every morning and so I cut it into fourths and mix it in with her kibbles and then she's got her two scoops of which is a liquid just a little bit of some other medication that she takes and so I topped it on top of her kibbles and then she won't eat it unless I put a topper on, which is for cookies now. So I get one cookie and I crumble it up on the top and she will eat. And then she'll let me know whether, because she only gets a cup of food in the morning. And so she'll let me know if she, you know, is hungry. And so then... Um, yesterday, she let me know about, I don't know, it was about 1 o'clock, that she was, you know, with a little bit of lunch. So, I gave her a half a can of her canned food. And she ate most of it, but not all of it. And then about, I don't know, 6 o'clock, um, 
she came over and, you know, was giving me the signals. And I says, what do you need? And because she still had, you know, some of her canned food left. And uh, that's not what she wanted. And I says, all right, show me what you want. And um, so she went over to her um, bin thing that I keep her food in. And uh, so she was ready for uh, some more kibbles. And so I gave her a cup of kibbles and uh, a cookie topper. And she chowed it down. So, yeah, she lets me know when she's hungry. All right, I think I'll do some pluses because that's more of the sky. And I got a few down here. All right, so the plus, I got to make sure they're the pluses because I'm doing this sideways All right, those are the X's you know what I think I'll do the X's first and get those done don't have I don't think there's a lot of them All right, and those are 161. That's the one, Is that's that blue-gray. Yeah, just about got that one memorized now that I'm almost done with the canvas. All right, so any X's up here? So we'll finish up the X's and then I'll let you go. I'm going to get this uploaded. Go answer your emails and comments. And then it'll probably be time for me to get dressed and go mow. Yay for me. Elliot always stays outside when I'm mowing. She wanders around and with me. So she gets a little bit of exercise time. Oh, we got a bunch of X's over here. I didn't even see those. Yeah, so we'll probably be out there for about an hour and a half. Now, I'm not mowing that whole hour and a half. I got to take lots of breaks. I got to sit down for a little bit. And <laughs> I don't want to overexert myself too much. <laughs> Okay. It's nice though not having to mow the yard every three or four days. Like I did last year in the springtime. dragging out all of her toys. <laughs> oh, Ellie, you are so funny. <laughs> Let me move that before you knock it 
over. There we go. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I put a new noodle on my desk. This one I didn't cut. Um, well, I cut it, you know, down the middle to put it on my desk, but it, I just kept it really long. So now it goes the whole length of my desk. For some reason, the other one, I cut the size for the painting I was doing, and it's like, well, that was dumb. Why'd I do that? Because I have different sized canvases that are, you know, laying here. Okay, any more X's right there? Now we're going to move up here a ways. So yeah, send me some emails. Show me what you're laying down drills on, what your adventure is, your journey. Be creative. And also, if you have not become one of my friends, hit that friends button, also known as subscribe. And if you ring the bell and press all, you will be notified of when my videos appear. Doesn't cost anything, everything's free. Because we're all about never paying full price. <laughs> and free is good. Alrighty, that's done and dusted. Whew, yeah, it's going pretty fast now. Fast for me anyway. So, I appreciate everybody stopping by and visiting with me. And as always, I will. Jibber jabber with you later.